Hi everybody, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is the three card, this is the Daily Tarot. This is the three, three card, the three card reading for December 1st, 2020. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering um, 30 minute readings for $30. All the information is below. Additionally, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram feed is uh, very colorful and very artsy, and uh, it's called Right Color, easy. And if that's interesting to you, then please follow me. I appreciate the support. Okay, let's see what the energy, how do we begin December collectively? Two, three, okay. One, two, three. Okay. So the biggest card on the on the board is the uh, the magician. The one. It's December first. Okay. Uh, you know, overall, um, I know we've all been in a state of you know, it's like, am I solid? Am I liquid? Am I gas? Is the earth solid, liquid, or gas? Is, are my feelings real? Okay. Real or not, solid or not, it's time for us all to uh, pull up our bootstraps and like get on with it. It's like, you know, well, I don't know what the future is going to bring. It's like, none of us know what the future is going to bring. We never really did. And it's time to like move forward anyway. Try to, you know, put into motion, begin to manifest what we want our lives to be, what we want the world to be. Because we kind of have everything we need in order to do that. It's like a pause and sort of a, um, it's like a pause in battle and it's sort of just making a decision as to, is this battle worth fighting or should I walk away from this one and move into something else? So that's the decision you're gonna to have to make. I don't really, I'm not really getting that clear. You know, it's different for different situations. I mean, I'm reading for the collective, so I don't really know. It's really, really raining. <laughs> it's really raining. And um, rely on your mind. You know, a lot of times I'll tell you, or, or I'll suggest, like, oh, go into your feeling. Nah, nah, nah. It's like, no, this is the time for clear thinking. Have a clear vision of where you want to be and where you want to take it and start to like move. Start to move. You know, I know it's difficult. It's like, this is difficult. But the old way of thinking is over. It's time for a new start. It's time for a new start. That is what's going on. So this is the time. All you entrepreneurs, everyone who's been sitting on there, you know what's thinking, oh, well, you know, I really want to write a book or I really want to start a business. I really want a new job. I really want to uh, get out of this relationship. I really want to um, rekindle something like now, now, because there is no time like now, and now is the only time that great creation begins, right? It's not about what happened, and it's not about, well, you know, it's got to be uh, the expectation. It's got to be like, now I am creating this, like really be here in your body now and take an action toward your future. You know, it's like, um, I don't know, you know, this is gonna sound, it's like, it's blind faith time. It's blind faith time for all of us. And it, you know, if we're all moving forward as a collective saying, this is my stake, this is what I want in the world. This is where I, I then, something sure to come of it. 
if we all sit around and go, oh, well, you know, I don't know, I'm just going to like be a, a leaf on the river and whichever way the uh, river goes, you know, maybe it'll take me to sea, maybe I'll get stuck in a stream, maybe a fish will eat me, I don't know. No. No. If you want to do that, then do that, but then you get what you get. If you want to build a new future and a new world and a new life and a new way of thinking and a new uh, emotional component and, uh, you know, new way of making money, etc. Now. Now. You know, well, uh, I don't have any faith. Well, make believe you do. I don't know what else to say. Make believe you do. Call somebody optimistic, get them on the phone. And, you know, do it, do it. You know, if you write a book and it doesn't get published, you wrote the book, right? So it might not be published today, but it might be published another time. If you, you know, start on a business and the business doesn't do well, you learn something through starting that business. You know, all entrepreneurs fail five times before they get something that really kind of works, you know, because you learn from your mistakes. So it's not a time to dwindle on the past. It's that, you know, the past is the past. Oh, well, you know. Uh, you know, what do you want to go back to like, uh, you know, the Garden of Eden? Like, like let's rediscover fire. <laughs> uh, this isn't the time. This is the time to move forward. This is the time to move forward. Leave the past behind, move forward. You have everything you need to manifest your desires. So, you know, that's a, about as gung-ho as I can be. So it's gung-ho day. That's where I'm at. I think the message was sort of similar yesterday. The, the energy has shifted. Something has happened. I don't know what happened, but something has happened. And um, it's time to move into the age of Aquarius. You know, I, I, we're a little bit early. Okay, you know, if you're going somewhere important, you know, you kind of put your clothes on before you go. And yeah, you, you know, you pretend you're on your way to the party and you maybe you look yourself in the mirror, and maybe you check your thing, and you move the hat like that, should I wear the earring? Should I wear the coat? Who should I call? La la la, should I bring a gift? Okay, you figure that all out before you get in the car and go. So now's the time to figure it out and put things together because we're all going to a party, okay? I'm very opinionated, I can't help myself. I mean, I can, but then I'm not really an interesting tarot reader, at least to me. Anyway, blessings to you. Um, let's go and get the world we want. <laughs>